Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the IPTV Smarters app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's one of the best IPTV players that works both with m links as well as Axiom codes. And most importantly, this media player is totally free to get. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get IPTV Smarters Pro to your Fire Stick device. And first of all, of course, you'll have to get an app, Code and Loader, and you can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, you just go to Search on your device, and then here in the search bar, start typing the Loader. And as you can see, the Loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Click on it, and that's the app that you gotta get to your device. But now, after you've got the Loader, it's not over yet. You still have to set it up. And in order to actually set up the loader, you have to go to the settings by clicking on that button with a gear icon. Then you scroll down to the bottom and click on My Far TV. So open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. You just need to go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see the developer options, which now have finally appeared for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then you gotta go to install known apps. From here, you just locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. Let's open it. And there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to Portugal right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on your line. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with free months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So finally open up the loader and wait until it loads for you. Then here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on Home. And now in that search bar, we have to enter a code, which is going to be 47827. So once again, it's 47827. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see. Then you got to go and click on Go. And now in a couple of moments, a website is going to open. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, if the download does not start automatically, you just click on the download button. But in my case, 
it all started automatically and you now just need to wait for a couple of seconds until the download finishes. Usually it doesn't take too long, but of course it all depends on the connection speed on your far stick device. In my case, I got a pretty fast connection. Then you click install and wait until IPTV Smart Rest Pro finishes installing on your far stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you are using, of course. And after that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device, so you click on delete and then delete once again. Now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, which is right here, we open it, and there you'll find IPTV Smarters, which we just downloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, IPTV Smarters is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then finally, let's open the IPTV Smarters Pro application, select the device type, which is of course TV in our case, click on Save, then scroll down that license agreement, click Accept, and from here it's actually super easy to set up, so if your live TV provider gave you an extreme code, then you select that option and enter any name for your playlist, and then use the username, password and the link, which were given to you by your live TV provider. And since there are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, it's totally up to you which one to choose. And after you enter all that information, you just click on add a playlist button, and then a playlist is going to appear right here, in the list of playlists on your device. Alternatively, you can also use the M3U link on your Fire Stick. In that case, you click that button, click allow, and there add any name to the playlist, and then either upload the playlist as a file, or select the M3U URL and enter it as a link right here at the bottom. Then also click on add a playlist and it's going to appear in the app. So today you learned how to get IPTV Smart Rest Pro to your Fire Stick as well as how to set it up. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.